Limits tolerance method. Let's go up into our annotate tab, into our dimensions, and go and modify our dimension style. And what I'm going to do is create a new dimension based on the mechanical one. I'm going to call it mechanical, but then I'll say it's limits. And I like to know which version things are uh, in case I want to use different types of limits and things. So I'll just say mechanical limits tolerance and I'll continue and so that now I have three units as my primary units in precision I'll go over to tolerances and I'm going to change this to the limits and in the limits I have a lower value of five thousandths and the upper value I'm going to set to five thousandths as well alright so I've set it to limits I have it to five thousandths as my value and I say OK. And then I make this method current so I can see that it is the current style. I'll set close. Now I'm going to go up and do a base a dimension, a linear dimension. And I'm going to select on this dimension and I'll place and I get the upper limit up here which is five thousandths above 2.75 zero and I get a lower limit of 2.745 which is five thousandths underneath that of the normal dimension of 2.750. So using the limits tolerance method I went up and made a new dimension style and I made sure that the limits uh, method was checked and I put in two values one for the upper limit value one for the lower value.